Ellie Mistel is a reporter for The Nation magazine. He published a book that came out last March. The title of it is Allow Me to Retort, A Black Guy's Guide to the Constitution. He says the Constitution is trash because it's written by rich white guys sitting around making deals. I have to loudly oppose the thought that the Constitution is trash. It's true treasure for me, but he's right. It was written by rich white guys sitting around making deals. The most famous deal was portrayed in the musical Broadway musical Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton favored the National Bank. Jefferson and Madison didn't, but they did want the nation's new capital. So a deal was done. Hamilton got the bank and Washington, D.C. became the capital in Virginia. I don't know that that was such a terrible deal. The problem with Mistel's premise is, is that it is 100% racist. I mean, listen, I, I think the greatest uh, athletes in the world are basketball players. So the NBA Finals, there is no more entertaining, exciting sports event than those games. Can you imagine if I said, you know what, I'm going to quit watching those. I just don't care. I don't find any value because it's mainly black guys. <laughs> I mean, you would rightfully call me a, a, a complete racist. Well, that's what he's done here. You don't devalue something just by the race of the people behind it. That is just wrong. And I want to remind Ellie of who was behind this. The two primary authors were Thomas Jefferson, James Madison. Do you have any idea the books these two guys put together to read? I think they read every single book that had ever been written in the history of time up to that point on politics, government, history, philosophy. You know, I read a book last year called First Principles by Thomas Ricks. The subtitle is what America's founders learned from the Greeks and Romans and how that shaped our country. There's very little original thought in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. It was just edited to fit the need of our particular people. And they also had the experience of what was going on here. I mean, they were living under a monarchy ruled by a king. There was a parliament in London that, you know, suggested rules and laws to the king. We had no representation over there. Plus you had the issue of taxes and freedom. Out of this came this wonderful document that we should celebrate. And for those who say, well, it's outdated, you know, there are changes that need to be made within the mechanism of the constitution, that's there. How to do that? Certainly it's laborious, but we've had amendments to the constitution throughout our history and that can continue. And by the way, I would make a deal with Ellie today. He opposes the Electoral College, wants to see that eliminated. I like the Electoral College, but here's the deal I would make. I'll let him eliminate that if he will allow me to get a one six-year term for presidents. So there would never be a re-election of any president. That's a deal I'd make today. Now, we are going to continue having debates and divisions politically for all time, but this or these documents, the Declaration, the Constitution, the one agreement we should all have is that they are worthy and valuable to be celebrated for the genius that they represent.